Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I was sent a link to this video by Steve Mac 88 And it's called, now get this, it's called Brace Yourself. Perilous times are before us, but Jesus is coming quickly. There are 444 thumbs up and seven thumbs down. <laughs> Is that a coincidence? I don't know. It was put out July 11th, and I would like to play it for you. So here it goes. I wanted to take a few minutes to share with y'all some things that I found to be pretty significant, um, and you can draw that conclusion yourself once this video is over. But I've been chewing on this for a few days now, wanting to make sure that, you know, I had God's go-ahead before sharing this information with you. And right now I feel the peace with giving you the information of the things that I've experienced. So a few days ago, I made a request of the Lord before going to bed that I wouldn't normally make. And that request was this. I said, God, I ask that tonight that you speak to me in a dream that confirms some of the dreams and visions that I've had in the past because the Bible says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses every word is established so I'm like God if you could confirm some of these dreams and visions that I've had tonight just to strengthen uh, the, the word behind those dreams and visions just to confirm them that would be really good but I made a secondary request of the Lord that I've really never made before I said, God, also, if you would, uh, I ask that you confirm the, some of the dreams and visions of others that I've heard, because God knows what I've heard. He knows what I've heard other people share. So I asked the Lord if he would consider um, confirming some of the dreams and visions that I've heard spoken by other people. So I went to bed, and within about an hour of going to bed, I woke up with my mind blown. So here's what happened. In the past, I've had dreams and visions and the Lord has shown me things, you know, regarding uh, fires and looting and quarantine and, man, you name it, the dollar failing and the money going away and Russia invading America, just a number of things that I've seen over the years in dreams and visions and all of that sort of thing. So, a few nights ago, when I went to sleep, after making that request of God, I, uh, I had a dream, and in that dream, I was revisiting some of my dreams and visions. I was discussing some of the dreams and visions that I've had over the years, which to me was God's way of confirming those dreams and visions, but this is the part that really got my attention. What woke me up wasn't just some words that I heard in the dream. I woke up because of some words that felt like they rattled the cages of my spirit. The very instant that I heard these words, I woke up. And when I woke up, I knew exactly how to apply them. I knew that God was confirming not only my dreams and visions, but he was confirming the dreams and visions of some other people that I've heard here recently. And then I began to praise the Lord and the presence of God was all over me. And man, just to hear these words really got my attention. Now, when I tell you what words I heard from God, a lot of you are going to immediately know how to associate these words. But if you do not know how to associate these words, just type them into YouTube. Type them in some search engine of some sort. I'm telling you, you'll figure it out pretty quick. But as I was revisiting my dreams and visions in my dream, which I believe was confirmation from the Lord, I believe also that God confirmed the dreams and visions of a couple of others by saying these words. I heard the words, brace yourself. And it woke me up. It rattled me to the core. It woke me up in an instant when I heard those words. I knew how to apply it. Now again, if you're not sure how to apply that, type in brace yourself, dreams and visions on YouTube. I'm telling you, to your surprise, you're not going to find a lot of different videos. Uh, there's only a few different occasions in which I found that somebody said, brace yourself, one of which is pretty popular at this point. One of which, when the man says, brace yourself, he is speaking about things that 
ironically, if you will, are discussing dreams and visions that I've had for the last eight, nine years or so. So uh, I'm convinced at this point that God had done both things that I asked him to do before going to sleep, which is a surprise to me enough. I figured if he did one or the other, I would be blessed, but he did both. He confirmed some of my dreams and visions, and I believe he confirmed a dream and vision of another person. And by doing so, it's caused me to uh, look up and lift up my eyes. That's a fact. Man, just uh, last night, I believe, or maybe the night before, I don't even recall what night it was, I saw Jesus on a horse running swiftly toward the earth. And man, that just, I don't even know what to tell you. I really believe the Lord is coming soon. I really believe that a lot of these dreams and visions are fixing to come to pass. I really believe we're going to see a lot of the things that we've been hearing from God unfold in the coming hours very soon. And it's imperative that we as the people of God do at least two things. And one of which is we get our house in order, fix our eyes on the sky, have our oil lamps filled, have our garments spotless, white as snow in the blood of Jesus, be set apart and put away sin, put away the world. But secondly, make good and sure you're doing everything you can to bring somebody with you. Make good and sure that lost world knows that Jesus is coming, that judgment is coming against this nation, that bad things are fixing to unfold and come to pass, that if they would trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, they can be saved, them and their whole household. So I just want to encourage you with that. Uh, I believe God was confirming dreams and visions that I've had over the years. But again, the Lord said, brace yourself. So I ask that you apply that accordingly and seek God in that regard, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, he said, yes, amen, 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 amen. Do you know who said that? Do you remember the video I shared with y'all? It was about prophetic dreams. One was somebody else's dream, but the second was Dana Coverstone's three prophetic dreams he had the first one was about March, April and May and the COVID-19 and he saw people wearing masks and being quarantined and hospital beds and things like that and that came to pass then he had another dream and it went through November and he saw a fist punching through the word the page November and all the words and uh, letters and numbers started falling down like three-dimensional blocks and what his this man Steve Mack 88 is saying is he's been dreaming the same things as Dana Coverstone dreamed last month I believe it was June 30th was the night he had that dream I just looked it up um, so I wanted to share that with you and just ask you to share this with whoever you can or I'll, I'll put the link to Steve's dream in the description box if you can't see the description box just go to Steve Mac 88 look for warning dream concerning September October and November 2020 slash slash Jesus is the way okay um that was on, he made this video July the 10th, and this is July the 12th. I don't know if I remember to tell you that or not. Okay, with that I'll say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, and I pray that it goes out. I pray that people will take it seriously. The first fruits rapture is coming soon. People have your lamps your oil lamps filled with the Holy Spirit. That's what that's referring to. It's the Holy Spirit in our lives. Make sure you've repented of your sins and that you can say you love Jesus more than anything in this world. 
and also that you can love one another, forgive anybody, any hurt done to you. So, okay, I'll finish pleading the blood of Jesus over this video, myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you, and all of your devices, and all of your internet connections. And, oh, Lord, I pray that this year is when he meant he was sending Jesus to get us on July 17th. I pray, oh God, I pray that this is the year you meant, that it really was from you. But if not, it's all right. It could be someone was telling me May 30, uh, July 30th was the 9th of Av, the worst day in Jewish history. When both temples were destroyed, I'm not real sure how that plays into the, a rapture scenario, but um, I don't remember whatever else they told me. So with that, I'll say bye for now, brothers and sisters, and I sure do hope I get to meet you all in person very, very soon. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.